Hey, it's Rich. And Taylor. With Town Wine and Spirits. We are gonna be discussing the next Roadie Barrel Brotherhood pick. I am super excited, of course, for all our picks. Uh, Ezra Brooks, of course, I'm still weeping over the fact that I was not there, but give us a little insight of what uh, your trip again. Again. So yes, we're gonna rub this in every single time. We're only gonna be able to do this with one more pick after this, but uh, we're gonna continue to do it. So back in November, uh, I traveled down with some of the guys from the Roadie Barrel Brotherhood. We went to a number of distilleries, including Lux Row. When we were at Lux Row tasting with John Rempe, who is the master distiller, we chose a Rebel, which is their weeded mash bill, yep. uh, which we thought was really dynamite, and people really seemed to dig that and really jumped on yep. board with that. This is the uh, this so this is the Ezra Brooks pick that we made, which is their ride mash bill. Correct. So this is to coming in at 78 corn, 12 malted barley, and then the 10% rye. The difference here is that, you know, again, many months ago, or one of our early picks, we did an Ezra Brooks yep. barrel. Yep. Um, but this is now a different program because now we're getting into cast rank, so now right. we're at 120. So. Yeah, very different. Um, yep. And I think the expression is very, very different. Well, it is. Yeah. So our first our first Ezra pick was like a cinnamon bomb, cinnamon bomb, red hot. It's just like intense, like just overloaded on cinnamon, which is really, really cool. This is has a very different personality. It's amazing. There's definitely a little cinnamon you get in the back end, but this is all like citrus galore. Oh, citrus galore, like like orange oil, like essence, like like very like much the, so. Like the like from the the, the skin. Skin, yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh, I love that actually. I really like I that. I really like the nose. Like the, yeah, oh. same here. Yeah, but the nice thing though is is again we've already had this open for a little bit, get a little more air into it, and the nose is definitely getting more complex. It's getting yes. a little more lively in a way, like. Yeah. getting more to it and it's uh I, it's like when we first opened it it was like citrus you right and now it's just like expanding out there's a lot happening i i really think there's a nice nougat note there's a little bit of a chocolate note yeah you mentioned this before and i think it's really that chocolate note it's not necessarily like a chocolate candy bar it's definitely a chocolate like powder cocoa yes. powder yes 100 um, something like that where that's a nesquake or something yes you definitely yeah. get that more than a little bit of that creaminess to it so that nougat as you mentioned is coming mm -hmm. through I just think it's got a beautiful nose. I think it's really complex. I think it's really interesting. Okay. So at 120, no issues getting my nose in there. You don't feel it at all. But on the palate, it's not in a bad way at all, but there's definitely some structure and muscle to it. Like you, oh, oh yeah. you get that. That citrus comes across immediately on the palate, mm. but finishes a little bit of cinnamon, which is really nice. I get that powdered like, cocoa as well. Yeah, the powdered cocoa, the cinnamon, mm. the citrus, all seems to ride along with the, the ABV and the finish. Like Very it just so. lingers on and yes. on and on. And all those flavors keep coming back to me. I just think it's, I think it's lights out. I think it's really cool. You guys picked another one. I know, I know. I know. This is such good stuff. But you Actually, wanna know what's better? Tell me. This is $50. Which is, in today's world, like, I don't it's, say bargain, but I think for what we're bringing, absolutely. it is really a high quality bourbon. Dropping Friday, uh, 9 a.m. So I hope you guys jump online fast, come in store because it might go pretty quickly. I think it's gonna go pretty quick. So yeah. what I think is gonna happen Tell is me. I think people are all gonna buy a bottle and then, and then they're gonna go home and go, oh my God, this is delicious. <laughs> and they're gonna go back and buy more. I agree. So I think like after the first weekend, we're gonna have almost nothing left. You're welcome. Anytime. You're welcome. Well, hopefully I'll be able to enjoy the next pick, so, which I will. Yes, you but will. But that's a whole other story. That's a whole so other we'll story. That's coming soon. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video and the review. If you liked the video, give it the, the thumbs up. I almost stumbled there. Or hit the subscribe button, better yet. And uh, hey, we'll see you soon. All right. Thanks. Cheers.